What's up YouTube? So this week's video is going to be talking about speed remapping. The way you can speed things up and slow things down. It's pretty smooth. It looks pretty good. Or you could do it the other way around. Slow things down, speed things up. You can use it for transitions, depending on what kind of shots you got. The reason for tutorial video again this week and then possibly next week as well is because right now I'm currently on vacation in Nebraska on my annual hunting trip with my dad and my brother. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out. What the f***? Dude, I didn't mean to. This is the second time this week. I'm sorry. Come on, I was playing video games. Next time I'll snap with my left hand. Please, please do. Okay, okay. Bye. I'm back to playing video games. Yeah, I will. Bye. All right, bye. All right, so we're going to hop into Premiere Pro and we're going to start a new sequence settings we're gonna have custom uh, we're gonna just do 29.97 frames per second 1080p so 1920 by 1080 we're gonna keep everything else the same for audio and all of that and say okay once we have our sequence let's go ahead and drop the clip that we want to use into our project bin and drag that into the timeline. Now, with some of my shots, when I do speed remapping, I kind of plan for it ahead of time. If you want to do some like cool transitions to transition into other clips by speeding the clips up, for example, before I go into post and edit everything, while in camera, I'll do like a fast movement to the subject that I'm recording and then I'll fast movement away. So what's gonna happen in post is I'm gonna speed that fast movement up so it looks like it speeds up and then slows down on the object or subject and then it'll speed up and speed away. And I can try to tie that in with another clip where I did that same movement so it looks pretty seamless. Um, let's go ahead and hop in and choose the spot where we wanna start. And this is where it starts right here so I'm gonna cut that, ripple delete it, I'm gonna to move to the end where it speeds away and I'm gonna cut that and delete the rest of it. We're gonna zoom in on this timeline so we can open up the project a little bit more to work with. Double click right next to your clip that's in the timeline right here. It's gonna open it up, it'll give you some more room to work with doing keyframes and stuff. So right click on your clip, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed, and then go to the spot where you want it to slow down onto your subject in camera or ever, however you shot, shot it. So you put a keyframe right there and then we're just gonna speed this up a lot. We're just gonna put it at a thousand percent because we want it to be really fast and then it slows down into that subject shot. We're gonna ramp it out. I'm gonna zoom in on that so you can see a little bit better but I'm gonna unlink this audio and get rid of it because we're not using it. So as I zoom in, you'll see that I have, it'll speed and then it'll ramp down. And to make that really smooth, click on your keyframe and then drag this to the left or right and it'll smooth it out. It'll just ramp it down pretty smooth. So when we play that back, it'll speed into the clip, slow down. And then we'll get to the point where it'll ramp back up and speed away, which is right here. So we're gonna add that keyframe, and then for the rest of the clip, we're gonna just speed it up to a thousand percent, drag that line up, and then we're gonna ramp it out, speed map it. We're gonna round off the edges to make it kind of a smooth transition into fast, and play that back to see how it looks, and then it speeds away. Cool. So there you go, that's pretty basic. Just to show you, Kind of a way to use it for a transition like I was talking about. I'm going to drag in another clip just to give you guys some uh, another perspective on how to do a transition with speed remapping. So you want to kind of keep the same movement as where the last clip was going. So with that last clip it was panning to the right. So I want to have the next clip panning in from the left so it'll look really smooth. So when we drag this up I'm going to delete or get rid of the audio, so I'm gonna unlink it and delete the audio because we don't need that. Click on your clip, show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed, just like how we did with the first one. And we're gonna go to where we want it to stop on our subject, which is Sean flyboarding. 
We're gonna keyframe that, and I'm gonna just put it at 800% since this is already a real-time clip. It wasn't pre-slowed down, however you wanna say it. I'll put that at 800. I'm gonna zoom in so I can work with it a little bit more. I'm gonna ramp this out, and I'm gonna smooth out the edges. So when I play this back, that transition is gonna be pretty seamless like it transitioned over to it. You can adjust it to your liking to make it look or feel better with that transition. The, this one might, have, might go a little too quick in that first clip, but we can even stop it right here, ripple delete this, and it might be a little bit smoother. And there you go, pretty cool. Now with slow motion, uh, since this clip right here was shot in 60 FPS and the sequence is set to 30 FPS, we can slow that down by 50%. So we can take that 60 FPS clip, slow it down by 50%, which will make it 30 FPS. You wanna match all your frames up. So you go in there and you can click on speed duration and slow it down by half by hitting 50% or with the speed remapping down here, you can drag this line down to 50%, just like that. So now when we play that back, it'll be in slow motion. If your frames seem a little choppy because you're slowing down a clip that's 30 FPS and your sequence is 30 FPS, if you slow down something that's 30 FPS, it'll make it 15 FPS if you slow it down halfway, if that makes sense. So you have an original clip at 30 FPS, your sequence that you have in your timeline is 30 FPS. If you slow that clip down by 50%, it's gonna make those frames 15%. So it's not gonna work. It's gonna look really, really bad. So going into slowing stuff down or wanting to slow things down, make sure you're shooting at the proper FPS for what you're gonna render your video out in post. So since this was 60, I could slow it down to 30 or 30 FPS. And if you accidentally shoot in 30 FPS, but you wanna try slow motion, you can slow it down 50%, right click it, right click the clip and go into that speed duration and in here you're going to have optical flow if you click optical flow what that's going to do is it's going to kind of try to mirror some of those frames to make it smooth out but when you do that there's a chance that there will be artifacting and artifacting is like little pieces in there that's not real for that clip it's just the program putting in more frames to smooth it out and make it perfect for you. This is really hard to explain, kind of, sort of. But optical flow is initially, it's supposed to make it smoother when you slow something down like that. That's the only way to be able to slow down something that you didn't shoot in the proper FPS. So remember to shoot in the proper FPS. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so that's how you do speed remapping. It's kind of the basics and I would love to see some of your guys' creativity with the speed remapping. Send me some videos if you follow the channel and make your own videos. It'd be kind of cool to see what you guys can come up with. Let me know what you think about the video, if it was pretty clear. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But uh, I hope you guys have a good day. <laughs> Peace out.